Hi there, Adam Gray again, and I'm eating this delicious meal right now, but I am still thinking about MCAT science. And that's because a meal is really a review of biological molecules. That's why we eat food, because it's molecules that we can use to keep ourselves going. For instance, this bread is made mostly of starches, glucose molecules bound together in a way that we can break those bonds and use the glucose for ourselves. This cheese is made up of longer chains of hydrocarbons, which we call fatty acids or lipids, and we can use for long-term energy storage. These these beans are made up of proteins. They are proteins the beans used in their own lives right now, but we'll break up those proteins and use those amino acids to make our own proteins. And then we got vegetables, which have a couple things about them. Number one, they tend to be full of vitamins and minerals, which are small molecules, uh, or atoms, or ions in some cases, that we use to help our enzymes catalyze the reactions they have to catalyze. But they also have cellulose, especially green vegetables. And cellulose is a lot like starch. It's just glucose molecules bound together. But they're bound together in a way that our bodies can't break them up as easily and use them for fuel. That's why, on the one hand, vegetables tend to be a lot less caloric than starch. But on the other hand, it's why you tend to get vegetables stuck in your teeth when you eat them because your saliva can't break down those bonds quite as easily. But food's not just good for biological molecules review, it's also good to keep yourself healthy while you study. So make sure you keep yourself nourished. Uh, thanks for watching, good luck on your test, and keep thinking about science. Bye.